Hey what's up guys this is Carson and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about why you should play Halo Infinite. Even if you have played the old games or never tried them and you just don't want to, please watch this video and give it a try by the end of this. Here we go. First of all, the gunplay and movement feel so satisfying in this game. Uh, it's only the multiplayer right now, it's technically a beta still. And the gunplay and the movement feel so like fluid and satisfying. It's like if Halo 5 and the old Halo multiplayers combined, like it's just a perfect combination of the almost super almost Titanfall like gameplay in the Halo 5 multiplayer, and then the nostalgic but kind of flawed gameplay in the older Halo multiplayers. And this game introduces a lot of new weapons to the sandbox, both new and old, and some new guns based off of the older weapons, like the uh, the Mangler is based off of one of the weapons from Halo 3, and so there's just really cool new weapons as well. And some of the guns are super fun, like again, the Mangler, and some of them are just not that great. And there are a lot of fun grenade types, they bring back the spike grenades from Halo 3, there's of course the frag grenade and then the plasma grenade, and then they, they introduce a new grenade actually, it's uh, the dynamo grenade. It, drains health and it disables vehicles as well and it's a super cool and fun new thing to try out and use. The maps are very well made and there are so many different ways to approach combat uh, situations and that's just a multiplayer like there are different vents for example in each map that you can go in and you can get to different areas faster and it's really cool how some of these maps tie in with the older uh, Halo games. Like how in the map called Streets, it's a new Mombasa, which is the city that ODST takes place in. And you can see the space elevator that's in Halo 2 and ODST. And there are some cool details on these maps as well. And overall, the maps feel like Halo maps compared to how I personally felt about some of the Halo 4 and 5 maps. The customization is awesome as well. Granted, it's technically a beta, so there will be more on December 8th when the full game drops, but the fact that you can customize your own AI to have their own personalities and lines and voices and colors, like how the Master Chief has Cortana, it's a super, super cool feature. And there's even options to have prosthetic limbs if you want your Spartan to be more representative of you if you do have prosthetics. And those are some super cool details that are very inclusive and again, just are super cool that they added those features. And there are some really, really cool equipment pickups like the Repulsor where you can push enemies off the map and kill them, or the Active Camo where you are literally invisible. It's so, just, it's so good in this game. It's good for you whenever you use it, but for whenever other people use it, you hate it. That's, it's just that good. And there's even like a grapple shot where you can zoom across the map with it or shoot it at a weapon and grapple it to you so you don't have to go pick it up. You can grapple to an enemy vehicle and hijack them. So there's a lot of possibilities with this equipment, both the new ones and the old ones that have been in the older Halo games. As for this music for the multiplayer, it is way too, it goes way too hard for it to be a multiplayer. Sometimes when I'm leaving a match, the music is playing and I can't stop but kind of bop my head to it because it's so insanely good and it feels like Halo, but experiments a bit with some more post-rock type stuff and it's just crazy good and props to everyone who worked on the multiplayer part, uh, part of the music. And if you're new to Halo, there are different modes like weapon drills to get used to the different weapons, the new ones and the old ones that are in this game, and there's a training mode to fight bots, or to explore the maps even, you can do that because you can turn all the bots off. And there's a really cool tutorial into the game as well, and as far as the actual multiplayer, so far there's a regular 4v4 mode, like Slayer or Oddball, 
with either real players or you can do bots if you want to get into the game slowly. And there's a big team battle option as well where there's big 8v8s and you can play game modes like Big Team Slayer or Strongholds, which are some of the game modes that were in the other Halo games. And the vehicles in this game are, as well are very fun to use. There's, you know, there's new vehicles like the Razorback, which is essentially the Warthog, but you can put detached turrets in the back part of it and carry it around. And there are a lot of vehicles from the older games, like the Choppers from Halo 3, or of course the classic Warthog. The multiplayer in general is free to play, and even this week there is going to be a free multiplayer event to get this skin. And I know you think that is pretty hot. And like I said, this multiplayer is free. So if you played the old Halo games or Halo 5 and didn't like any of them or didn't play them at all, give this Halo game a try. Like I said, it's the perfect combination of the new games and uh, the old games. And it just like puts it all there. Like it just, it feels like a Halo game for the, new, the old people and the new people. And that's just as good as I can describe it. All the people that I've talked to that have played the older games and didn't like them, I've talked to them and I've gotten them to at least try the multiplayer for this Infinite game. And they really enjoyed it. I have not come across someone that I have gotten to play Halo Infinite multiplayer where they did not like it. There's a reason that this game is so anticipated amongst the gaming community. And there's a reason why this game is $500 million, the biggest video game ever made despite all these people on Twitter and stuff, you know, posting these clips. I'll play one here for you, honestly, just so you can see the kind of things that people like just nitpick on for a multiplayer arena game. This is an arena multiplayer game, and there are people complaining that you can phase inside of a plant. When in a multiplayer game, are you like, hmm, this multiplayer is really fun. But if I can't bounce off this plant, I it's bad. Last of Us 2 is, oh my gosh, Last of Us 2. Let's talk about that game. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. It does not matter. It is an arena multiplayer. I'm going to stop now before I rant on about this, but it is ridiculous. And people like that need to stop. Who in the right minds gets upset that you cannot individually destroy fruits in a multiplayer arena shooter? I do not understand this. But thank you guys for watching this video again. Please go try it if you haven't. I'm not being paid to say any of this. This is just, this game is so fun to me and uh, everyone else that I've played this game with. And this coming Sunday, uh, I can't remember the date off the top of my head. The date is the 28th. That's when it is. The 28th. I am going to be hosting a Halo Infinite game night in my Discord. The link to the Discord is in the description of the video. And that is going to be at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. So if you guys are not in the server and want to join, either just to talk and hang out or to actually play, you can download it for free. It's PC and Xbox. Download this game for free and we're going to play it. And I hope to see a lot of you guys there either to hang out or to play the game, like I said. Thank you guys and have a good day.